Hi guys, Judy here. I hope you're having a great night. It's oh, about 10 o'clock p.m. here in California on July 6th, Thursday. And I um, had a really cool experience today with God. I, um, so it was a kind of a different day. Uh, right after I get off work, I, I teach summer school and then the boys... I, you know, whatever my, whoever my son's with, this last couple days he's been with his cousin, and they're basically best friends. They're less than a year apart. And, um, or about a year apart, a little over. Um, anyway, uh, so what happens is they know I get home around 1.30, 1.45 latest, and they hop in the car and we're off. Uh, yesterday was surfing. Uh, today was going to be the lake. Uh, and so I had planned, uh, I always have my swimming suit packed ahead of time. I had everything packed when I get off work, you know, I like to make the most of the day so we can, so the dog was going to be at home and the Lord sort of changed my plans on that. He, um, he really let me know to take the dog. So I thought, okay, well then I guess I'm not going to be out swimming then. That's cool. All right. And uh, so I brought the dog, and it was just a more of a reflective time. So three hours, the guys were out there. And um, it's a lake slash water park, so it's a really cool place to swim. And then they put these floaty, inflatable things up, and it's just a hit. It's, it's really fun. You try to knock people off, and it's like a ninja warrior course on the water. It's super cool. So they can be out there three hours, no easily so when I go I swim around the lake like for a couple hours I just have so much fun out there and um, and but today the Lord didn't have that so uh, he just wanted me still he wanted me still and I always go with it believe me I don't argue with my dad I was looking forward to going in the water but we had swam all day in the ocean yesterday and, and um, if I you know God knew he's like she'll be up for this I'm not going to take any, any fun away from her. And I was up for it. My dog and I hung out. We put our feet in the water. It was, it was nice. But I didn't get to do as much because he told me to take the dog. And so I was just reflecting. Um, it gave me three hours to just be with the Lord and uninterrupted, which is so rare. And um, so I was in this reflective mood and just thinking of him and everything rapture of course and everything you know really that's how the Lord has me live it's just rapture this rapture that rapture this rapture that okay <laughs> sorry he made me rapture centric he coined the term it's his gig so it's all good anyway um so I get home and I'm still in this reflective mood. The boys, they swam so much, they were not even hungry. They were like, I'm like, usually I have to make a bunch of dinner and stuff and I'll feed them a ton of food. They were not hungry. It was funny. I'm like, you guys don't want anything? They're like, no, we're good. They just ate popsicles and drank juice and they were a little dehydrated. It's been really hot. And they made popcorn and I never had to cook dinner. So I'm being more reflective than I'm in my room reflecting and just sitting there and just um, and the Lord, I get up to walk into the hallway and he gives me, ah, uh, the best gift. He gave me, I call them flash visions, but I see things and then I hear him and it's like a living picture. So anyway, that's what I call it. It's word of knowledge if you want to get all scriptural and vision, but they're more like flash visions. They just, they last not very long. Anyway. I saw him put his hand down and he said, it's enough, it's enough. And he was referring to his judgment, like it's time, like it's enough. That's what he was referring to. And I was like, so excited to get that message because in the past when God has shared with me, um, I feel his righteous anger. I feel his great sorrow. Um, and, and it's, and I sit with him, you know, and I comfort him and encourage him and I'm just there for him basically. And it's pretty intense. And, but this one, when he's put it down his fist and said, it is time. 
it's like his anger was had subsided. It was like he just made up his mind. And I did not feel that righteous wrath anger. I felt him being so resolute, like it is time. He said, he goes like, he didn't say it is time. He said, it is enough. And he put his fist down. And it was like an angry, okay, it, it was like a parent that wasn't angry anymore, but knew they had to make a decision to do something to stop all this mess. You know what I'm trying to say? Because in the past, I don't think God wanted to judge the world in the midst of his anger. You know, because even the Bible says not to, you know, when we discipline our kids, we don't do it in our anger. We get our calm, we get cool and collected, and then we go discipline, right? Because if you do it in your anger, then you're going to be doing things you regret. And you want to get all that out of the way. And I was thinking today, I said, Lord, is that, have you, like, because can you imagine if God disciplined in his anger? I mean, you're just going to be snuffed out. There's going to be no hope for you. Okay, but I think that I really, this is what I can't, I sat on my bed and thought about this for a few hours before I'm making this video because I knew he wanted to give me something to share to encourage the bride because that's my job and that's my great pleasure uh, to do this before he comes. But uh, I said, Lord, are you, this is like a new phase you're showing me of where we're at, like you're you're ready to do this, you know, your anger has subsided, and it's like your sorrow has subsided, and you're just, you put your fist down, you're like, it's enough, it is enough, and I'm so glad it wasn't this raging, it is enough kind of a thing, I mean, believe me, I've seen him rage about sin, and, and he should, he's a righteous God, and we, and sin should make us rage it should make us angry you know so that that's a good thing I'm not saying it's not a good thing but it was like there was so much authority the way he did it like I knew that what he was telling me was I'm doing this thing and I'm ready oh I'm so excited you guys I just just wanted to share that I hope you're blessed God bless all these beautiful rapture watchers, you know, all of us, me too, just bless us, Lord, it's been a long journey, some of us longer than others, but we thank you, Father, that you've put your fist down, and you've said, it is enough, and we agree with you, it is enough, it is enough, Lord, it is enough, and we say your judgments are just, and they're right, and we, we look forward to your righteous judgment, and thank you that you don't do it in anger, because if you did, we'd all be snuffed out, but you're so, I just thank you for today, what you showed me, you're calm, you're collected, you're resolute, I believe it's time, I believe that's what you've shown me today, and um, I thank you for that gift, and I bless the body of Christ with it, for anyone listening that's just feeling discouraged and sad, and you know, rapture-centric, they just, it's, it's not an easy way to live, um, but you've called many people to live this way this last hour. I ask that this message would encourage them and lift them up and know that surely God, it is enough. You have not forgotten. It is enough and it is time. And if you let the world go much longer, it would spiral downward into a deeper, uglier hole and stuff that you don't even want us to be defiled by. We're your bride. You love us. You just don't even want us to be defiled. You know, because living in, living here is just defilement, you know? And you're just so good to get us out. Rescue us and our children and our teenagers who are just, you know, they're seeing this filth. Anyway, so thank you, Father. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you, Father. Up until you come, you're going to meet every need. Physically, financially, socially, emotionally. And spiritually, and just in every way, I pray for people who have needs right now, that they would feel the God of all comfort and the God that cares, encourage them and lift them up and hold them by the hand. In Jesus' name, Lord, you're so good. You're so kind. You're wonderful. You're just a wonderful God. And we just, I just can't wait to see you face to face. Yeah, I'm going to punch you. Because you waited too long. <laughs> but after that, I'm going to hug you. 
and I just can't wait to look into your eyes and say thanks for being so nice to me thanks for being everything I always needed thanks for being my mom thanks for being my dad thank you for being extended family when I needed it thank you for being everything to me you know some of us didn't have moms and dads guys and God told me when I was very young he said I'll be your mom I'll be your dad I'll be your cousin I'll be your grandma I'll be your grandpa I mean he just went down the list it was so sweet and um, you know he's been so good he's been so good to me and I, I just can't wait to see him and thank him and just spend eternity with him you know and um, I love you guys just just know that he's coming and he hasn't forgotten you okay he hasn't He's allowed some trials to come for the strengthening of your faith, but not to kill you, not to drown you. The devil tries to make you think God doesn't love you, but he just, he certainly does, okay? He certainly does. And um, I thank you that you're going to get a dose of his love right now. Father, I just throw a bliss bomb. Just catch it. Put your hands out and catch it. I just throw, throw joy. I throw peace on you. I throw kindness. I throw encouragement your way and lift up my friends father my friends on youtube that i get to see face to face any day now encourage them all greg and greg bostick god bless you and your family and your and your pregnant wife now god bless you greg i'm praying for you I'm praying for you god loves you he gives you his peace he's there for you he's in all the details Thank God, just everybody, I love you guys. Everyone who's asked me to pray, don't worry, I am. I am every day. I lift you up to the King of Kings. Be good. And I'll talk to you in the air. Bye.